So example seven, we've been given hyperbola asymptotes at y equals negative three over two x minus three and positive three over two x minus three. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to locate the center. Now this is easy because they both share a y-intercept. So we know that the center must be where they both cross the x-axis. It just happens to be the y-intercept. Okay. Otherwise, I would have to solve this equation to solve for where this, those two lines intersect. But there's my center. I also want to use the slopes to get my b over a ratio. Well, we can't say that b is equal to 3 and a is equal to 2, but we know that the b over a ratio is 3 to 2. And we're going to use that to help us figure this out. Now, we at this point here, we have this equation, x squared over a squared minus y plus 3 squared over, and that's going to be b squared. Again, we don't know what that is. That's equal to either plus or minus 1. And we have to now figure out the transaxis before we can continue here. So the transaxis is going to be based on where can I locate this coordinate. Okay, that root 43, 9. I need to know if it's a if it's up here or over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this solve this equation for y equals nine. In this case here, since I want to know if it's up here or down here, I'm going to use the three over two x minus three equation, and I want to see if it's above or below that line, or in this case, the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to see if it's to the right or left of that line. Okay, so the way we're going to do this then is, I'm just going to use that line y equals 3 over 2. Or maybe I'm going to do it down here. y equals 3 over 2x minus 3. And I'm going to test my point y equals 9. So I'm going to plug y in. And I'm going to solve for x. And when I do this, I get 12 is equal to 3 over 2x. So I'm going to divide by 3 times by 2. And I get x equals 8. Now, x equals 8 when y is 9. Okay, when y is 9. Oops, I'm going to maybe. Okay, so when y is 9. Maybe I'll draw this in a different color here. So maybe blue. So when y is equal to 9, let's say somewhere over here, this x coordinate is going to be at x equals 8. And we know that the coordinate root 43 is going to be over here. That's going to be root 40, sorry, root 48. Root 48 is smaller than x. So it's going to be on that side of the asymptote. That means then that my graph must pass through that point like that. It needs to pass through the point. So it's got to pass through the point like that. In any case, we know that this must be a trans y. So then this indicates that this is trans y. So instead of using plus minus now, I know that this must be trans y. So I know I have to get negative here. So I'm just going to highlight that. This trans y indicates that negative. Now I can try solving this equation, but I still have too many variables here. I have a and b. I can substitute for x and y, but I still have a and b. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to use the relationship, and I'm going to say that b is equal to, using this one here, I'm going to say that b is equal to 3a over 2, and then I'm going to replace the b. So I end up with x squared over a squared. And maybe I'll keep that color coded here. Over a squared 
minus y plus 3 squared over, instead of b squared, I'm going to use this expression. So I'm going to use 3a over 2. So I get 3a over 2 squared, and that's equal to negative 1. I'm going to now plug in my x and y, and I can solve for a. So x is equal to root 48 squared over a squared minus, when I plug y in, I get 12 squared over 9a squared. And the 2 squared, I'm going to write as 4 in the numerator here. That's equal to negative 1. Okay, that's going to be equal to negative 1 here. So then I'm going to simplify this out. Uh, I think I could probably, let's simplify this out. Let's go 48 a squared minus 144 times 4. 144 times 4 is 572 over 9a squared equals negative 1. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 9. So this is going to end up being uh, 400 and 32 okay, when I multiply by 9. And that's over 9a squared minus 572 over 9a squared equals negative 1. Okay, combine like terms. Uh, this will work out to be, looks like 140. Oh, I think I, hopefully I've done my math correctly. So that's going to be negative 140. Uh, negative 140, let's double check here, 144 times, 144 times 4, this is going to be 576, sorry, I made it, I did make a mistake here, so this is going to be 576, 576, so then this works out to be, 144, negative 144 over 9a squared equals negative 1. That makes 144 equal to 9a squared. a squared equals 16. a is equal to plus minus 4. That makes b equal to, uh, when I plug it in, b is going to be equal to 6. Okay, so a is equal to 4, b is equal to 6. So then my final equation is going to be x squared over a was 4, so 16, minus y plus 3 squared over 36 is equal to negative 1. And that represents the trans y a hyperbola that passes through that point with those asymptotes.